Mr. Hodac, you're the president of Aspen Central Europe. Um, the first question would be regarding the outlook and your outlook as president of Aspen in Central Europe on the future of the European Union, the future of Europe and the future of the world. Well, if I would know the future of the world and the future of Europe, if I would have a crystal ball, I think that would be fantastic. Um, I think that uh, we are going through a very difficult period in Europe, uh, but uh, I have no doubt uh, that uh, we will be able to overcome it. It will not be easy. It will not be easy to uh, overcome Brexit. It will not be easy to overcome difficult relations with, uh, with the United States and the internal problems which we have in the European Union. Uh, but uh, I hope that we have uh, slowly but distinctly reached the bottom of uh, what I would call the uh, populist era. I hope that uh, countries like Italy, uh, Austria and to some extent uh, uh, also Hungary, Poland and others uh, will turn around and, and uh, be, uh, will be run again by democratic countries. Uh, democratic parties. Uh, but the whole question is that uh, we have to have uh, a functioning uh, institutions in Brussels. Uh, we have to have uh, people in the member states who believe in the European Union. Uh, and first of all, we have to explain to people of Europe what the European Union is about. On a global level, uh, I think everything is changing. Uh, it's not like before. It's not uh, that the United States and Europe are governing the world. Uh, like it was 15, 20 years ago. No, uh, we have now uh, China uh, as emerging as a major power. Uh, you are, we are having conflicts uh, uh, between the United States, uh, China, and more or less also uh, between the uh, United States and the European Union. Uh, so on the global level, especially on the uh, commercial side, and unfortunately also on the military, it is not going to be easy, and we shall see uh, what the next one or two years of uh, the Trump's administration will bring us. Well, in this context, what's the purpose and what's the role of such a platform as the Bucharest Forum? And what's the role of such a platform as the Aspen family? Well, let me start with the Aspen family. Uh, the Aspen family uh, is here uh, to provide a dialogue uh, about uh, also future of Europe, uh, about uh, values of uh, liberal democratic societies, uh, bring people uh, from different backgrounds uh, together around one table uh, and uh, contribute to a dialogue, to a discussion that should lead us uh, back uh, where we basically were, uh, towards a um, a liberal democratic societies and the values uh, on which this uh, liberal democratic society was built. Uh, the Bucharest Forum is a part of it. Uh, the Bucharest Forum is uh, like many other initiatives that we have with the other aspects in, in Europe. Uh, as you know, we have, uh, we have today eight aspects in the European Union. Uh, or in Europe because there is also Ukraine uh, and the Aspen family is more and more working together. Again, an example of the Bucharest Forum. Uh, basically every single Aspen uh, that exists in Europe is present here in Bucharest. Uh, and it is a forum uh, that should uh, show a way forward, uh, both in Europe and in our transatlantic relations and uh, probably also in the rest of the world. Why should anybody attend such a forum? Well, uh, why should anybody attend such a forum? Uh, I think that uh, people should attend this forum to be part of this dialogue. Uh, it is not a, uh, a, an, uh, an easy discussion. Uh, you have here top people uh, who are uh, sitting on different panels. We are discussing uh, uh, issues like uh, international trade or global trade, if you want. Uh, uh, transatlantic relations, uh, relations uh, within the European Union uh, and many others, uh, relation with Asia. Uh, and um, I think it's an excellent platform, it's an excellent place uh, to come to and to listen to people who have something to say to this, uh, to this discussion and, if you want, also to participate in the discussion. So I think it's, uh, these, uh, these meetings are extremely important and we would not organize them if we wouldn't believe that it makes sense and that, it would, that they would lead us forward. To conclude, a message to the Aspen community? Uh, 
the message to the Aspen community is uh, stay together. Uh, don't give up, uh, don't give in. Uh, times are difficult, especially between uh, the United States and Europe. Uh, and uh, Aspen Institute has been created in the United States. Uh, we have today uh, 11 Aspens outside the United States. Uh, I have mentioned eight in Europe. There is uh, one in uh, Mexico, one in Japan, and one in uh, India. Uh, and the message is uh, stay together, work together, uh, and uh, work towards a uh, to defend the, uh, the values on which the, ba the first Aspen, Aspen in, in the United States was ba based. Without you, without the platform that you are creating, with the dialogue that you are creating together, uh, I think the way forward will be a little bit more difficult. Thank you.